Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with some more Inkbound. Here bright and early on Friday trying to catch up, so this is technically Thursday's video. So we will be playing Obelisk, and we're going to try and get the clairvoyant video in before, like, chores and stuff start happening. That way we can manage to get that in as well, and not have to make anything up on Saturday, because Saturday is sit down Saturday. Uh, I think the topic, I'm trying to, like, figure out exactly how I'm going to present it, but, um, somebody asked, uh, for, like, beginner tips for each class, and I don't know exactly how to handle that. I think instead what I might add is just beginner tips that sort of apply to all classes, and then maybe a couple of things for each class. I don't know exactly how that's going to work out though and fit in a 20 minute time schedule. That's the, the problem there. Um, and that's mainly because, you know, I don't want to just like give you guys something and tell you guys to do this. Though that might very well just happen. Pulsar belt's very good on us. I'm not quite sure about getting rid of uh getting rid of DR. Of course it means nothing to us now. We could farm up some early money with golden egg, but I would rather just have pulsar belt. Because it deals uh a lot of damage. And I think I'm willing to just uh, fill up Iron Clap as usual. A couple stacks of Crush could possibly be like pretty good for us on Seismic Slam. There is a couple of things that want us to crush. And after figuring out that the uh, the crit mod on this doesn't work, I really don't want to like invest in the Seismic Slam much at all. Because that would be the main reason why I would do it. Plus 15 damage is still also pretty good. But uh, just uh, making sure that it crushes immediately is also quite notable because it just means that you add 50 damage on everything. And then if you get any crush interactions, then you've got a button that does that to up to 8 things. Shielding Iron Clap, of course, just making sure that we have enough shielding to take most of the hits that... Uh, that are being hitting that are going to hit us because obelisk without a uh, seismic slam has difficulties like clearing all the trash mobs that usually plink you for like two to four damage so this is how we plan on trading with them and so just having more shielding accidentally definitely helps out i think we're gonna go with that Otherwise, any of the other options, which is just like plus damage to these skills, is pretty good. Except that I have difficulties putting plus damage on the shield bash. Because generally speaking, I want a purple to reduce its uh, will. And I want a green to reduce its cooldown. After that, I really don't care. Alright, let's take a look at these own quests. Proving Grounds with 10 Ability Power, Vengewood with 6 Will Reserve, and Silent Promenade with 35 Crit Chance. Tough luck on all of those. Um, Ink Shield, or we're not really good against Ink Shield. Enemies are going to have DR whenever our Pulsar Belt goes off, and um, thankfully we don't deal a lot of damage with Iron Clap, so it's kind of okay but I'm not really a fan of it. I think Heavy Pockets is honestly just the easiest thing here. It's against Giannis, though, so we're going to have to figure that out.
course, these guys are fist resistant on the first round. Um, not even sure I really want to attack them then. Go, we'll hit you with a pulsar belt. You know what? We'll trade two HP. We'll trade one HP and actually hit you both with a pulsar belt. It's kind of said that that's actually like considered good damage right now. Um. And what I think we're gonna do with this hit here. Grab both of these. Crush, not quite enough damage. That's, um, tragic. So we're gonna trade a lot of HP now. Pulsar Belt should finish you guys, though. I think. We could have used our potion, but that's pretty much gonna be used to, uh, take out our money pot. And now you're fizz resistant, which is terrifying. All right, give me this. We traded 13 HP on the first fight. That's not good. Of these options here, I think we might reroll or we might just heal. I think we're going to reroll. I guess we'll take some crit damage. It's something that we can use. We're going to remember to go up here and grab this first. All right. Blink is very nice on uh, on Obelisk. It allows us to move around and actually like uh, hit things with Iron Clap that we want. We're able to actually like Use Shield Bash for damage. Free movement is just very good on a class that's as slow as Obelisk. Um, could maybe see Pilfer here, but not really. Chain Lightning, it's going to be really difficult for us to actually like put that in a place where it does something. But it's still plus 50% damage. We just don't have any plus damage right now that makes that seem enticing. Otherwise, like, we generally hit everything anyways with, like, say, Seismic Slam. So, it turns... If you consider 50% damage off Seismic Slam, then that means that this is going to be worth, like, 60 damage on a 1-5, which isn't bad. You would generally prefer more, but... We'll take the chain lightning. It's possible that uh, blink was the right option because it has a option for precision and shielding and it's uh, whites and we would have been happy to see either of those. So if we're going to go into that then I think we need massive, massive seismic slam just to put a little bit more value into our chain lightning. Unstable Brew is very good damage for us. We like that. Alright. So we're going to give this a little bit of a whirl. Let's first put our Disintegrate out. So this is pretty much going to take care of everybody. We'd like to see that. We can pick up this orb from here to reduce our cooldowns. Or are we just like clapping you and waiting till next turn? Huh. 
possible that we should have used that unstable. It's too late to use it here. Not necessarily. Does Magic Pixel exist? Come on now. Riveting gameplay, I know. But uh, we're going to try and get this. Because I refuse to believe that we really cannot... There we go. We're really going to miss you by seven. That's tragic. Well, it is what it is. So that cost us about 90 quillings and a, uh, a glyph. Uh, finally, some physical power that would have made all these uh, misses that we've been getting, like kills. Shielding Iron Clap again is something I'm about. Let's go ahead and go into the Binding Empowerment because we need better skills. As is very apparent in our recent uh, performance. Potent Lightning dealing plus damage seems pretty good. Seismic Slam Inflicting Days does not. I think we're going to go for the damage and grab this. Uh, Shatter's alright. I don't like putting it on my skills on Obelisk because Obelisk needs his skills to do more. Spending 2 cost to put down a status effect that you then have like 3 will to do stuff with doesn't jive with me. Like this could just do more damage and it would generally do the damage that you would normally get, if that makes any sense. Potent Lightning adding more damage seems good. I like the plus damage for each person we hit. Hardened Shield Bash is also pretty good, but um, I'm kind of just hoping that, uh, you know, Chain Lightning is going to carry us here. Glyph Globes. Um, where are purples? I guess I could technically put a Crush on Iron Clap at this point. Shield Bash, negative one cost. Seismic Slam, negative one cost. Chain Lightning Crit. Those seem good enough. Uh, my only concern is what are we going to use to kill Giannis if we have absolutely nothing right now? So I think what we do is we take the superior vault and we kind of just deal with the first purple that we get. Chances are we're going to get something good if we have one that we're willing to put in every skill. I don't hit you at all, huh? Shock doesn't disappear at the end of the turn, right? Correct. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to shock you guys. And then we're going to bully you. He's going to hit me. I'll take one damage. He's almost dead. Sounds good. Oh god, it's a bit brigade. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of the damage resistance. Then we're going to seismic slam everything. I was about to say we really weren't close enough for that orc. There we go. And... God, this isn't going to solve any problems. We're going to take a lot of damage. Unless, of course, we take this Crimson Quillfish right now, in which case we'll destroy one of these. Sounds pretty bad, honestly. 
this is going to crush, and then another hit won't be able to do much because we don't have any plus damage here. We're doing 14. Light Bomb added again. I'm not sure that that needs to add health, personally. Maybe I'm just doing some gamer rage here, but I, like, it's honestly, like, way good enough. <laughs> just dealing, uh, one to three unmitigated damage towards you. It's not unmitigated. But you can't really damage resist it. And you can't really dodge it. Okay. Yeah, we seem to just be doing enough damage to not deal any damage, if that makes any sense here. Uh, reducing cooldowns with Swift Hair seems pretty good here. I'm willing to take that. That doesn't really give us damage, though. So that's a bit concerning. An additional stack of Shocked is seeming pretty good, but then we can't put a purple on here anymore. Are we okay with that? Um... I almost think that we are, but our fifth binding needs to have actual damage. Probably should have taken a look at that after this. None of these deal actual damage. Okay, so... What are we going to do? We could reroll. If we reroll, we're looking for stuff like Cleave, Incendiary. Uh, Jinx is probably just fine here. After Image isn't really... I'm not feeling the Evasive, and I'm not feeling the Critical Charges either. We got a little bit of plus Critical Damage, but that's about it. Uh, Cultivate, I'm definitely not feeling. It's just a bunch of Iron Claps. Maybe that's honestly what we need, is just a bunch of iron claps. And try and out-tank everything. Like, Pulsar Belt doesn't do that much damage. Uh, Blink? Blink seems like the best pick here, honestly. And if it's Blink, then I would go back, re-roll the, uh, the glyphs. We're not going to see a common, though. So it would be, and eh, it wouldn't be that good then. I guess we'll take Cultivate and hope that that uh, is what we need it to be. And we're going to reroll here. I like gaining one shield per enemy hit, but it's not really going to do much for us here. I'm thinking Hardened Shield Bash over one stack of Evasive. We'll take Shielding Seismic Slam. I don't know how we're going to beat Giannis here without any damage, but we're going to have to figure it out. Death Scythe is interesting. Well. Oh, 
I liked the combination of those options better than re-rolling, so here we are. Alright, everything's going to get shocked. We might as well put one of these down. Orb. Want to head on out. All right. I really don't want to just hit you just to hit you. So we're going to sit here and full block you. That's a crit. I like the idea of that. out of your AoE. Again, we really don't want to hit you with uh, Iron Clap because it doesn't do anything. So we're going to put down another Cultivate. How many turns we got left on this? Grants four wills. Disappears in three turns. We got quite a bit of turns. Okay, so. Let's grab that. It's seismic. Shield charge, and I really just want to get rid of you. We're dealing uh, smite damage to Giannis. This is getting very spooky, guys. Last two more turns. Okay. He's going to get phased by the lightning. Go ahead, hit him one. We managed to get another cooldown. Okay. So we're pretty much going to have to go gung-ho at this point. Give me this cultivated plant. Give me this cultivated plant. Give me this power orb. I'm kind of hoping that we could clap a couple times because Iron Clap won't incur a cooldown. So if we get Swift Hair, then it's going to bring down Chain Lightning. So we're going to just go ahead and bully. There it goes. not really going to set us up well for the next turn, but we're looking fine now. Yeah, it's possible that uh, smiting the heck out of him at the end there was actually the wrong move. I mean, it probably was. It's not possible. I would say that there's a high likelihood that it was.
All right. Dare I say it? I believe we made it. Barely. Yeah, again, that one, like, huge screw-up was us just railing into him on that uh, third from the last turn. We shouldn't have done that. We weren't getting anything out of it. One stack of frostbite. Gross. Magic CDR. Gross. I really enjoy the idea of Earthquake actually eventually dealing damage. Especially since we have some CDR in the kit. That might just be our way out of here. Heal me. Probably heal me. Yes, please. I know we're going to take a lot of damage from Gunkfield, but I think it's the, the play here. Otherwise, I could also see Will Thief. Uh, we don't really build into orbs right now, so it's not like it feels bad. We have Cultivate to compensate, and we just reduced Shield Bash's will cost, so it feels kind of good. Okay, I think we have enough money, dare I say. Uh, we really need a build. Because right now we just have stuff. We really need more than stuff if we're actually going to get past the Chapter 3 Elites. We're going to place that there, get up here, start bullying you. is a wee bit rough. This won't kill unless we use unstable brew, which is out of the question. We have very little shielding, but if we could manage to get out, which would be using this here, then we could avoid almost all the damage that we're taking. Thankfully that orb is there, so we're able to wiggle out. Um, problem. And I know exactly what the problem is. The problem is, is that you're making everybody deal more damage to me, but I don't know if I can honestly get to you. I suppose if we were to clap our way up, we will eventually get to you. That helps significantly. Really don't like having to use that unstable. But I suppose uh, this is just going to solve the day. Uh, I think Boiling Muck is exactly what we're looking for here. Boiling Muck plus uh, Swift Hair 
is going to reduce our cooldown significantly. Verdant Sprout was also considerable because of the fact that we're taking a ton of damage. I will take four physical power. It helps us get more damage. Um, so if our whole idea is just to get Earthquake as much as possible, and Earthquake is unfortunately not really our longest cooldown. In fact, Cultivate kind of is, which sort of puts a kibosh on this whole thing. I guess that uh, Prepared Iron Clap is exactly what we're looking for here. A Disintegrate helps us get the pot, so I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Uh, a Critical Charge, I'm willing to take that. Um, another question is, is, is Dazed actually like worth it for us? Because of the fact that uh, we're pretty much just trying to be as tanky as possible it seems and hoping that like crush deals all of our damage for us and scaling earthquake the other thing is is that uh like we just don't pick this up that often getting a crit on something that's probably just going to be iron clamp i eh eh Shield Bash lowering its cooldown is probably the best thing that we could possibly pick up here. And I think we're going to re-roll here. On pickup, gain an additional will. That's pretty good, but I really like Chain Lightning just dealing damage. If we up tier into Zap, the bug that makes it so that this plus 35 damage also affects the, the per enemy hit means that uh, it's going to blow up. But uh, just having a cheap button that kills trash is going to save us... Sorry about that. Alright, sorry about that. One bad thing about moving upstairs is that, for whatever reason, the stairway catches all of the noise that happens downstairs. So I can pretty much hear everything that's going on down there. The thing is, is that usually it doesn't make the microphone bounce. So unlike most people who are like, oh, wait, you can hear that in the background. I'm like, okay, how can't you hear that in the background? However, that one, you guys could certainly have heard. I guess we'll put down our frickin' broccoli. All right. You're going to think that I'm mad. We are going to take both of our orbs here. sure that we're by this cultivated plant because at that point it will offset the um the will thief and then tomorrow uh, to not tomorrow this turn we have chain lightning and earthquake is this pen close enough it is really does pay for us to just iron clap a couple times to possibly bring down uh, Earthquake's cooldown. We have another two orbs here, which honestly just means, guess what? This. Okay. I think the build's starting to come together, dare I say. It's also a little bit, uh, <laughs> like, how do I say? Um, it looks bad because of the fact that we have so much max health now. 
Oh my good lord, the uh, the blue stone mind, I believe it's called, that heals you up to 50% after a fight would be pretty good right here. None of these are really doing much for me. Um, magic power hits our smite. I think we're just going to restore HP here though. Um, negative cooldown on something that scales with each time that we use it. Seems pretty freaking good. Unfortunately, it does mean that uh, our swift hair is most likely going to hit these things. Wit's Book of Magic solves that problem. <laughs> what? Um, not entirely, but it makes it so that these are less likely going to have cooldown, if that makes sense. We did not get Zap. Are we willing to reroll this? I'm not sure that that's necessary. Um, Lightning Spear is more of a single target solution because it actually deals like an insane amount of damage for one will. And then of course leaves three shocked so that it's probably going to get shocked. But um, I think I like the idea of Earthquake just clearing everything for us. It's at least working now. I don't know how it's going to work once we get to, like, the elites and stuff. So I think Lightning Spear is actually probably better. I think I'm willing to take that, yeah. I think I want another Blue Vestige. I might want a Tethered Shrine, though. Um, actually, Defense Matrix just seems ridiculous right now. Okay. I think we might actually want more greens. Because more greens means uh, negative cooldown on Cultivate, right? Or was that a blue? I really should have paid attention. I don't use Cultivate enough, as you guys know, to know this stuff. But I think it's a green. Famous last words. Okay. Okay. Give me the Quillfish, give me Disintegrate. Give me that. I'm honestly more concerned with making sure that I kill this money pot. <laughs> Which we should. Because now we have power orb cooldown. We hit all these things. Oh, it's already done. And it just cooled itself down. Heat <laughs> map. So, I mean, there's really no reason not to do this. Okay. And I suppose we might as well... I was debating if we were going to put down another broccoli, but I wasn't really feeling that. This uh, pretty much takes care of everybody. Power orb... Lightning Spear. There we go. Again, we're now trying not to get above 
because we want to be below half. Uh, this brings us pretty dangerously close. So we're going to go ahead and reroll here. And we'll go ahead and we'll take magic power. It hits lightning spear. It hits our smite. It's pretty good. Um, reroll this. It up tiered into one will. I mean, I will not take it at that rate. I really wanted that CDR though. <laughs> All right, all right. On critting, gain one shield. That seems our speed. Do we like that better than pulsar belt? Maybe. I think that we do. And something that actually crits would be nice right now. It would probably replace cheese cards. No dice. Yeah, not for us, I guess. Might as well put this out there. good there we're getting a lot of soul shackle put on us though which is spicy hit you with that hit you with this guess we're gonna put down another plant and hit you with that got swift hair to proc which is pretty good um, let's just hit this, and it's going to suck, but we're going to go ahead and pick all this up. If we're going to pick all that up, might as well put down another plant, and, um, I don't know, do we honestly just use Earthquake again? Because now we have six magnitude. It's dealing a lot of damage. that pick this guy up and um Use this again, I guess. And that was a rough turn, but now it's pretty much in a way over. We're just down to our normal, like, terrible times. Okay, we have a ton of energy. So we're going to do this. And just keep clapping until we get Earthquake back. And we want to Lightning Bolt you. And then use this. 
looks pretty good. If we can get that to actually crit, that'd be mint. Um, I think shield slam is actually like really good here. Because how much shielding do we honestly have? We start with uh, four. So this is doing as much damage as battering ram, but battering ram also crushes. That's oof. We would have to like seismic slam or get some other shielding some way in order for shielding slam for shield slam to be better than battering ram. That is a. That is definitely a consideration. <laughs> um, I'll choose to believe. I will take Shield Slam, but I think that Battering Ram is better. On pickup, all uh, physical bindings gain cost discount. Let's add some more damage to Shield Slam. Kind of a perfect setup right there. Let's place our plant. Pick this up. Shield bash out of here. Some more swift hair procs. Means that we've got our... Um, our earthquake back get a little bit more magnitude going I think we honestly want to get this so that we can share a little bit more damage pick up the power orb magnitude we're taking a lot of damage Mainly because you guys are Rampagers and we don't deal that much damage right now. That saves us. And just try and get some uh, swift hair out there. That seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit you. You should die this turn, I believe. You will not die this turn. And I think we need one of these guys out there. We'll hit you once. I don't think that's gonna... It did hit your break point. Good lord. Taking 12 damage because reasons. Okay, this fight solved. We just have this very annoying enemy here that we have to deal with. The one that is usually 60% uh, resistant to us. This should be fine. Plant another broccoli. Alright. 
ink Rito is exactly what we're looking for. That can easily replace cheese cards, especially at this point. Money's no longer useless to, or useful to us. Uh, did we already take this or did we skip it? Because, no, we were like super low. Holy lord. If I heal here and at the shop, we are still not close to being worried about that. Okay, re-roll this. This will make it physical bindings, which is the ones that we primarily care about. I should have taken a look at... No, Mumsies wouldn't have mattered. On gaining a shield, gain two ability to power until the end of the turn. That is, like, very good. I just don't know what that's replacing. Uh, is it replacing Boiling Muck due to the fact that we have Ink Rito now? I don't feel like that's the case. I definitely don't feel like we get uh, we replace Broken Rail. It could potentially be Death Scythe. We would be full health, and then Defense Matrix would no longer be a thing. So maybe Defense Matrix is the worst thing in our kit? That's the whole reason why we took Shield Slam. Is it possible that Hammer the Broken Rail is what we get rid of? Since we have 61 health, we should have more than enough health to just, like, um... Ignore everything? That seems pretty bad, though. Could be, since... I, j I just don't know, man. Like, all this stuff is pr pretty much important, except for Death Scythe. Except Death Scythe just enabled Defense Matrix. We're going to do that. It's possible that we should have dropped a uh, defense matrix instead. It's just very difficult because if we ever get below half HP, defense matrix is going to give us more health than... Uh, Death Scythe did. We may not ever get there, though, because of the fact that uh, Hammer the Broken Rail is here, and we've got more crit. Therein lies my issue. Yeah, okay, I'll use this twice. Fine with that. This is going to be a long fight, though. Okay, go ahead and shock you guys. I really can't afford to have you do that attack there. Because I have nowhere to stand. It seems like you're going to be able to do that attack, though. There's not really much that I can do about it.
Someone tells me we're going to need a lot of plants. starting to feel like lightning strike or lightning storm was the best option when we were presented with those keep delving closer and closer to despair the question is is earthquake going to be able to actually carry us of course you took off i wonder actually Okay, we can't hit you because you're also shocked. Good intel. We are safe this turn. What's he slurping over here for? Okay, let's get some more shock out there. That would bring you close, but not close enough. Does this kill you? It does. I'm about that then. Okay. Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's put down another one of these. We're going to need it. And then we won't pick that up. By the way, we 100% should have taken Battering Ram over Shield Slam. If that isn't now apparent... least our uh, earthquake is getting somewhere. I'm trying to wonder if magic pixel exists here. Badoosh. And I guess we're taking 13. Which honestly isn't too bad, because now we're in defense matrix zone, and this starts actually dealing, like, a little bit more damage. 
Oh man, we really could have used a bone calcifier. Oh, not that button. Don't know why I keep hitting that. Almost just want to make sure that you face, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Should have used my free iron clap. Where is my power orb up there? Oh, whatever, whatever. This will hit the both of you. That will hit the both of you. Clap. Earthquake. The heck am I supposed to do with you down there? Is Cinderpox really going to get us? It's possible. No, we get you. Okay. I was like, oh my god, do we have enough iron claps to actually survive that? So, that wasn't really a good run, but we still made it. Some weird-ass crit obelisk with no crit augs, which... I don't know, I can't really talk shit about them if I don't have them, right? Like, they probably actually would have helped us. But otherwise, the, the engine seemed very interesting. It just wasn't scaling fast enough. Uh, like I said, if we had... Even in an Unic Charge, or a Bone Calcifier, or if we were somehow scaling physical power beforehand, we can't really do that. But like if we had, uh, say, Predator's Quintessence, we just didn't have enough damage to... Like, there's literally no damage in this build, just crit chance and reasons to crit. Like, Shield Slam was, like, the best thing we had, and if this was... um battering ram we would have been doing a lot more damage otherwise lightning spear just increasing the damage of stuff when we used it and eventually earthquake got up to what well, I'm, I'm gonna say that we were probably at like 12 charges due to our cdr which was seems pretty good like that's plus 600 damage but plus 600 damage every turn i guess it's a lot but i don't know like as you could see it wasn't doing enough we were in there forever Anyways, hopefully the run was educational or at least entertaining. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put that down in the comments below. And until next time, we will catch you guys around.